Hello, I'm Dr. Minan Lin from Dalin Tsuji Hospital. I'm the Vice Superintendent, and I'm here to talk about our sustainability efforts in addressing climate change. We believe that sustainability serves as a foundation for addressing climate change, and we have made it a priority to take action in this area. Dalin Tsuji Hospital is located in southern Taiwan as guardian of life. Chiji seeks to promote environmental sustainability, disaster relief, medical aid, education, and community service within, uh, with an ultimate goal of creating a world of peace, equality, and harmony where all beings can live with dignity and respect. Our hospital established the Health Promoting Hospital Committee back in 2007, which includes an environmental friendly subcommittee. Each of the committee worked together and the HBH committee regularly reports to its progress to the hospital board. Our hospital adopted the 10 goal of Global Green and Healthy Hospital Agenda, which provides us a quite comprehensive framework to plan to check and act on our sustainability priorities. Dalin Tsuji Hospital is one of the first Asian hospitals to join GGHH. And in 2021, we are proud to become the first hospital in Asia to join the Race to Zero campaign. To establish our target on the Race to Zero, we review our year-over-year -year greenhouse gas emission data, which we track through the GGHH Connect and the Climate, Check, Climate Impact Checkup tools on Hippocrates. Based on this data, we select several target interventions to reduce our carbon footprint. Our intervention includes replacing lighting with LED bulb year by year until we complete the transition in 2025. We aim to reduce our electricity consumption by, by, uh, by at least 1% per year. We adopt the high efficiency, efficiency magnetic levitation chiller air conditioning system in 2022, which saved more than 30% of the electricity in air condition. We reduce general and hazardous waste per person bed per day through several initiatives, including single uh, using reusable utensils. In 2019, we were the first hospital in Taiwan to launch the no plastic straw in hospital campaigns. Our waste is already low in, to begin with, but we aim to reduce it further to at least 100 kilograms per year. Besides adopt water saving devices around the hospital campus, we build two piping systems and collect the used water and treat it for flushing the toilet and gardening. We aim to increase gray water usage from 30% to 50% by 2025. This is a diagram that shows our gray water collecting and piping system. From the year 2017 to 2022, we saved more than 4 million 770,000 pairs of chopsticks by providing reusable utensils. This is roughly equivalent to more than 100,000 kilograms of CO2 emission that we have avoided. We provide 100% plant-based diet for patients and staff and also promote a plant-based diet in the community. More than 95% of the produce we use is from local farm. Free, bar, free bus transportation for our patients in community were served. We also provide subsidy for staff to attend international conferences about sustainable action to learn and share with international partners. We track the climate impact of our plant-based diet intervention by analyzing our carbon footprint data. We calculate the emission saving from reducing the amount of meat and dairy products we serve in our hospital in old Tsuji Hospital in Taiwan in the year 2018, more than 30, uh, 3 point million vegetarian meals has been served to our patients and staff. This is equivalent to reducing around 3,000 tons of carbon dioxide. As part of our aim to continuously improve our sustainability and low carbon efforts, we pursued peer partnerships with other healthcare institutions to share our innovation and learn from their experiences. We have a memorandum of understanding with another GHH, GGHH member, Kudebe Hospital in Singapore, 
where they have adopted some of our initiatives, such as putting a green farm on their rooftop of their buildings, and they also adopt our no meat consumption and develop their mini Monday programs since the year 2017. Aside from our work with other international partners, we also ensure that we engage with our local stakeholders in the planning and implementation of our initiatives. The members of our APH committees meet quarterly, each of the uh, representatives reviewing the budget and annual emission data projecting for the next coming year and reporting the achievement of the staff committee to the chair. On the World Health Day, together with our staff, patient and community partners, we pray to be heading towards net zero. Although the health care system in Taiwan is now required to comply with the Greenhouse Gas Reduction and Management Act established by the Government Environmental Protection Administration in 2015, we have made it a priority to take voluntary action to reduce our carbon emission in Dalin Ciji hospitals. We look at the various levels as we provide care for our patients and also the environment. We share our learn, learning and continuously build our knowledge through our international partnership and engagement. We align our plans with the government and support the achievement of our national target. We ensure collaboration within our healthcare institution and among our hospital staff. We take care of not just our individual patients, but the overall health and well-being of our community. We believe, that, we believe that every action we take can make a difference in creating a more sustainable future. Thanks for your listening. Gang